Hey guys, what is happening? Let me I'm gonna get some water real quick. I got these microphones on, but it's kind of weighing the collar down on the shirt, and I don't want to mess this shirt up. So if you guys can hear me good, let me know. Um, I'm gonna try not to hold this one too much longer. That's what she said. Let me get my water real quick. I shouldn't even put this on. Can you guys hear me good? All right. Well, thank you very much. Oh, and guys, look whose shirt I got on. He's not even in here yet. But uh, one legged Honda mechanic. I just I just got this shirt from the PO box. Uh, but this is a Ben one legged Honda mechanic shirt. Um, I oh there he is right there. And uh, if you want to click on his name, um, he does uh, mechanical tips and uh, <coughs> I guess a little bit of bad acting. He's not as good as me on the bad acting. He's a lot better than me on the mechanical stuff, okay? So if you guys want tips and tricks and how to fix stuff in your cars, please uh, tune in to his uh, his channel. So I'm going to try to get this in, in the video a little bit more the whole time, but I can't get my, my head in the whole time. That's what she said. But uh, I'm going to be doing th these right here, okay? I'm going to be doing the scorpion, armored-tailed scorpions. And I found out all these bugs here, all these bugs I had noted. Um, let me cut that off. I think they're going to be calling me because I'm in this hotel, right? I'm in, hell, that my, my, my head's bigger than that microwave. I don't even know if you can fit this in that microwave. But uh, the I have to use my hotspot on this because their internet sucks here. But um, this is dehydrated grasshoppers, mole crickets, silkworms, crickets and sago worms with a whole bunch of salt mm. Mm. and i am going to be doing uh the, the also the armor tail scorpion so let's see let's see what this is about guys i am not make sure they're dead hopping out on me i paid how much this is a ripoff. You're not even going to believe how much. I got like two crickets in. I mean, two scorpions in here. Man, I paid I paid like probably $20 for uh, two scorpions. I'm a cheapskate anyway, but man, to try to do different stuff for you guys, it costs quite a bit of money to do, do this. I got the hot stuff at home, but like I said, I'm on the road, so I am going to be uh, I'm going to be doing this anyway, guys, because the show must go on. Oh, oh, well, there's a lot more bugs in here than them. Oh man, I'm gonna have a snack tonight. Look at all this. I got all kind of bugs in this bag. Oh, deliciousness. What is happening, Derek VS? Hey, everybody else, Derek VS, click his uh, click his uh, link too, man. He's been doing some uh, Frank's. I want to do, I put that on everything. I want to do something like that, but you're doing a series like that, so I don't want to, I don't want to uh, mess that up on there because you know what? I will put that on everything as well. So check his channel out as well, people. What is happening, Arthur? Uh, what is happening, to everybody, man? Uh, there's a lot of people in here tonight. I guess you guys want to see. Let me let me taste these. How does bug get out of here? Not even open it up yet. Yeah, they taste like fishing. It 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 it, it smells like I'm fishing. I guess one of the bugs jumped out of the bag. Can you smell that? Can you smell that? Okay. Zach Johnson. Zach, are you the Zach I just met in um, at that challenge? If so, what's your son's name? Just seeing if it's you. You want to taste me, Justina? Keep it PG, please. My manager would not like that. I'll tell you what now. Oh, one of my scorpion tails are trying to get away. I got to keep my bugs separate, guys. Got to keep my bugs separate. 
Okay, Zach. I was just saying, I met a Zach. Um, I did a pizza challenge, a hot pizza challenge in Crystal City, Missouri. Um, and at the second bite of the pizza, I got hiccups. Like second bite, I got hiccups. 14 inch pizza. But when I got done, you got a 10 minute, you got to do it in 10 minutes. And then you got a 10 minute cool off period, a burn down period, whatever you call it. So you couldn't have any liquids. So I, um, I did it, and then when I, when I was on my way to another challenge, uh, he he texted me. He goes, "He should I make that hotter?" I said, "No, it was hot enough. It was way hot enough." And the news is there, so Channel Five News in St. Louis will be having that on their their channel. Needs close up sound of chewing. Well, I'll give you a close up sound because guess what I got? Do you hear that? Oh, and I was just talking to somebody today, um, Jennifer uh, from um, Bubble Bistro. It's a uh, it's a soap, like a natural soap. They 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 use uh, they make their own soaps and um, and body oils and stuff. So um, yeah, I'm trying that stuff out now. Okay, guys, but make sure skin feels smooth. But we was talking, and she likes to watch that one. Um, the the one lady that does mukbangs that does like all that smacking stuff, I'm not a fan of it. But if she wants to start her own channel, hell, I'll I'll, I'll do I'll be in it with her just to just start smacking some pickles and stuff. All right, yes, uh, hit the like button, please, and please subscribe to the channel if you haven't already. And I'm going to tell you what, subscribe to this guy's channel here. You see this? Bam, one legged Honda mechanic. Uh, check his channel out if you want uh, tips on cars, uh, preventive maintenance, and uh, maintenance on cars to show you how to uh, do some tips and tricks on stuff like that. He guys, the he goes through the trouble of finding the easiest way to do it and then lets you know. So thank him for that. There you go, Aaron. Thank you very much. Uh, I'm gonna answer a couple of questions. If you have anything about bugs, you, have you ever tried bugs before when you were smaller? When you well, not smaller, but younger. Then did you try eating worms or anything? I don't know. Some people did. Like fried worms. Wasn't there a book about fried worms? Are you really eating bugs? Yes. Look, D nice. I'm gonna put them um here. Can you see them good? Like out of there you go. There you go. Look at that. You get some sexy saxophone music in here. Okay. All right, guys. I'm gonna do the scorpions last. There's two scorpion tails last, and they got the they got the stingers on it too. So I don't know. I guess I'm supposed to eat the whole thing. That's what she said. All right. I'm gonna eat a bug. I don't even know what bug. What kind of bugs? This looks like a cricket. Are you ready for a cricket? Let me see. Oh, yeah, I'm growing my nails out too. You see my nails are a little shiny. I'm, I'm I, I put some nail polish on here so I don't bite my nails. And now I got I got little fingernails now, so they're not bit down to the nubs. So that's why I got some clear polish on there. Okay, guys. But uh, all right. Here's here's a here's a um. There goes nothing. Let's just do it. It's a funny aftertaste, but it's not that bad, guys. Let's try another one. This is the same thing. It doesn't taste like chicken. I can't tell you what it tastes like. I guess it tastes like, oh, this is, look at this. This is a grab. Look at this. Let me see if it zooms in. Let me um let me put these bugs down. You see the eyeballs? Oh, look at that. Doop, 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 doop. Doop, doop, doop. That's the grasshopper. Yeah, 
Yes, nutty and earthy. I'm gonna. I'm. I don't. Yeah, I guess I could have just said earthy. Nutty sounds so funny. That was nasty. That, that didn't taste as good as the other one. This is a fatty. That's what she said. Okay. There you go. Oh, you you want to hear the crunch? Hold on a minute. Like Captain Crunch. Let's do a mukbang thing. Oh man. I just chomped on the head. Oh. I'm trying to figure out what can I relate this to to taste like. It's like airy kind of. It's like airy. Listen. Yeah, can't see it much. You gotta get closer. That's what she said. Are they seasoned? No, they're not really seasoned. They're not seasoned, but uh, they could have put something on it, you know? I don't have anything here to, to put on it. On the, I don't have sweet and low. These are some fatties here. These must be silkworms. These, well, these are the only... Uh, These are the only size they have, people. I mean, I didn't. They didn't ask for. Oh, this is a nice. This is a big cricket. These are the only biggest ones they have. But I do have these scorpions here, and they only gave me two scorpions. I mean, I got ripped off. Got the stingers on it too. So, I, you supposed to eat the stingers? That thing there. That's a scorpion. You see that little stinger right there? It has a stinger on it, too. I'm going to eat that one last, folks. That's going to be last. I got two, two of those. No, I'm going to pass on roaches. Hell, there's roaches all around. Probably my neighborhood, too. These are grub worms. These are really fatties. These are fat grub worms. Look at that. What's there's $10 right there? I don't know. Um, I don't, Yeah, I don't even know. I forgot how much these cost, but... They're not, these ain't cheap. And I'm, I'm just trying something different for the channel. But, but all these bugs, come on, let me pour them all out. There we go. Oh, yeah, look at that. They're uh, delicious. I'll just leave them up like this. How about that? And every now and then, I need to pan down. I need to pan down to show everybody a one-legged Honda mechanic. Uh, check his channel out. Look at his shirt, bam. Honda. Eat a big spider. There's no spiders in here. No, they're better. Oh, this. look at this fatty here. Look at this fatty here. Look at this. Look. Look at that. Yeah, that one's uh, that was a nice size. Yeah, that was a fatty. I might say that one for last, though, guys. Let me uh, let me just do a let me just do a handful. Oh, let me get my mukbang. Nobody even eats like that. Like that girl, she could, look. No, people don't eat like that. Oh, did you like that? <laughs> 
No, I don't think these are roaches. They might be roaches, and they're just saying they're crickets and silkworms and stuff. Well, it is disgusting, people. That's the the video said. What does the video read? It says live eating bugs. So I'm pretty sure when you clicked on it, it said live eating bugs. So you eating bugs live, not live bugs, but you know. Yeah, these are protein. Probably low in calories, too. I would say these are very low in calories. I'm not even drinking nothing, people. That's how good these are. They're not good. What is happening to six? I'm just eating bugs. Look at these. I'll just do this. How about this? It's like an ASMR. I'll even I'll even do this for you guys. Oh, look at this fatty is trying to get away. That's a fat one there. You can't get this. You can't get this anywhere, people. I got bugs with a microphone, ASMR, ASMR. Sorry. A lot of protein. This this fatties this fatties come up last, people. Bug crumbs, yeah, bug crumbs. Maybe a little little ranch seasoning, maybe. It should be. Yeah, it's earthy. I'm pretty sure they grew these in an environment, a controlled environment. You feel for the bugs. What? Yeah, this is, uh, I mean, they're not live. Don't waste anything. My grandmother told me not to waste any food. I got the scorpions last, so if they do me any harm, I'm at least going to get through this. Yeah, I'm going to... Um, I got this fatty to go. I'm gonna keep this fatty right here. I'm gonna get the rest of these um, crumbs off here. You don't want to waste anything. Okay. The bugs, oh, there's some in the bag still. Look at that, I still got bugs in the bag. Oh, oops, sorry, sorry. I didn't even mean to say that. I said chips. I said chips. You just heard it wrong. What is happening, everybody? Hey, thanks for tuning in. If you hadn't saw me eat all those bugs, here's the bad stuff here. I'm not sure if these are going to be dead. They're not deadly because they sold them to me. I got them off the internet. They got to be. They got to be a uh, legit. Oh. I need that piece there. That's what she said. Oh man, I got bug. You know what? I'm not gonna eat that one bug on the floor. I think I don't know if this bug's been here. Oh my good people, you're not gonna believe this. You're not gonna believe this. I'm not picking any bug up off the floor. I'm in this hotel room. You're not gonna believe this. You're not going to believe this. And whatever fell on the floor, if it came, I'm not picking it up and eating it. Because look at this. This is a local bug. I'm not lying. 
That is a roach. Yeah, look at that. No, people, I don't care. If you give me money for it, you're just going to give me money for nothing because I'm not eating. That's nasty. Yeah, that is nasty. Well, I got my scorpions left. No, I'm not, I'm not eating that. I just told you guys I'm not eating that. I looked on the floor like, whoa, that bug looked different than these other bugs. That bug had all its limbs and everything. That's that's not a bug that came in this bag. And get, guys, that's why I sleep in my car everywhere I go. Why would you want to sleep in a hotel with bugs? My car don't got bugs. Okay. Here we go. This is a bug that I had I bought from Amazon. I didn't get this for free at this hotel. This is a juicy one. Oh, okay. No, I'm not gonna microwave it. It's already been microwaved and dehydrated. They're dehydrated, so. Oh, that, oh, that was that was greasy. Oh, thank you, Manuel, because that was a fat bug. That was a fat, buttery bug. Oh, thank you, Brent Manuel. That made this pretty much okay, almost okay to eat all that for that five dollars, because. I probably I probably pay me thirty dollars to even do this, but to get this this out for you guys, I really appreciate it. Here's a scorpion. Now it's scorpion time, people. I'm gonna eat scorpions for you guys, okay? That's a scorpion. All right, let's let's get this close up. Hmm. More texture. No, I'm not eating that roach, people. What is wrong with you? Oh, that scorpion had a twain or something. It's different. And I have the tail right here with that. Look, you're supposed to eat this tail. That has the thing on it. You see that? It has that sharp deal on it. I'm going to say that for very last. This one, too. I'm going to tear this tail off. I'm going to say that for last. But here's another. Here's another scorpion. Oh, Emmanuel, our, our Red Robin video, I think, is coming out on the 10th or the 14th of August. So I think it's I think it's the I think it's the 10th. But it's the 10th or the 14th. But here comes the scorpion, guys. Let's go ahead. Mm. I'm trying I'm gonna take a drink of my water. Okay. I need to get a drink of my water. Okay, and one last shot of this guy here. Check his channel out. He was kind enough to send me a shirt. He said to cover my my, my, my chest up. So I did with his shirt. So check his channel out. Um, I think uh, they already po posted his channel, but I got it right here again, and I will post it again. So if you guys can please do me a favor. This is my friend Ben. Um, I saw him, I think, three times now at events. Um I know it was at the bagel one when I first met Ben um, in uh, what what place is that in Georgia? It's already in, I think. It was that bagel with the boon was there. What is happening? G G S X R Joe. Uh, your video, I think, will be coming out on the 14th. It was, it's the 10th or the 14th, the video with you in it. But right here, G S X R Joe 92. Picked me up from the airport, took me to a challenge, and he housed me with my own room and bathroom in Las Vegas. So, I'm guys, you need to. Uh, I wish he had a channel. I would have shot him out too. But I really appreciated uh, him him doing that for me. We had a really good time um, at the really good sliders at uh, Born and Raised in uh, Las Vegas. Really good sliders. You would they had lobster roll sliders, steak sliders. They had 16 different sliders, people. Okay, here comes the scorpion tails. These are scorpion tails with the stingers, with the stingers on them. So I, I guess you can eat these. They sold them to me. See the stinger? Hey, 
Here's another one. No venom. Okay. Hopefully no venom's in it. Uh, oh. Don't worry about it. I got bad acting. But just fall over. I would fall over, but this is connected. It would have messed my mic up. Well, everybody, everything but this this cockroach I'm, I'm not eating. See this cockroach? This was on the freaking floor. I looked down to see if I dropped a bug out of this bag. That bug did not fall off this bag. No, it didn't. Yes, the floor slides. People like the floor slides. I'm going to put some extra floor slides and, and, and different uh, different um, videos in there. But I already have my video scheduled to um, all the way to August the 14th. So after August 14th, you might see some different intros. So a month and a half already. It's still got some um, other ones to go. They're already booked. Uh, but hey, I tell thank you guys for tuning in. I'm still going to keep on going here. That's what she said. But um, I want to let you guys know where I'm going to be at next because people's always saying they still say it, even though I say please, please tune into my lives, please tune into my lives. Um, I tell everybody where I'm going to be at. So I'm going to tell you guys now Monday. Let's just say noon. Noon Monday, I'll be in South Haven, Mississippi at, at uh, Mariah's Cantina, Maria's Cantina, whatever. But I will be there. They have a hamburger and a burrito challenge. I got the record on the burrito. I'm going for the hamburger. And I think I have to pay. I'm going to try to get out of paying and try to just do it. I'm going to see. Thank you very much for the five dollars, and thank you for. Uh, I, I do appreciate entertaining you guys. Uh, I'm an entertainer. Uh, I've been called worse, but thank you very much. Um, and also, guys, I, and I just said I was going to be at South Haven Monday at noon. I am going to be at Mugshots in Flowood, Mississippi. So yes, I'm going down south. Yes, I am. Uh, I'm going to go down. They're, they're, they got a promotion at six p.m. At Mug Shots in Flowood, Mississippi. So I'm probably going to do a challenge or two around there as well. So I don't know about that yet. But Tuesday, 6 p.m. So if you show up there, maybe I can tell you what I'm doing Wednesday. Because after Wednesday, I'm headed back towards the Memphis area. But I will be in, I will be in South Haven, Mississippi at noon on Monday. And on Tuesday, I will be 6 p.m. Flowood, Mississippi. And the day before each one of those, email me if you're going to go so I can make sure the time is still correct. And I'm going to answer questions right now after I get these bugs out my teeth. Thank you. Hey, Manuel, thank you very much. I appreciate it. Yeah, every, everything helps with these. I tell people I'm trying to go overseas to do... Uh, to, to, to do other challenges. So all this money I'm getting for super chats and I'm paying guys, I don't like to spend money, but I want to spend money to entertain you guys. So I wouldn't just, I wouldn't just wake up and be like, you know what? I'm going to order me some bugs to eat today. That's what I'm hungry for. I won't even order a regular bag of Doritos because they're $4.99. I ordered the, the, all these fake Doritos for $1.29, but this was like, Probably twenty dollars for these, and then I got the the scorpions and the bugs. So I'm doing the extra stuff for you guys. I want to do different stuff than just sitting in my in my kitchen just talking. So I'm going to be doing the the, the hot challenges. Um, I'm, I'm I got other stuff planned. So uh, I'm just trying to do stuff different. So when you tune in, you don't know what's going to happen. Uh, I'm not going to do crazy stuff like La Beast. I might get to that point where I'm getting kind of there, but not too crazy. Who knows? Whoa, this is a Dayton. This looks like it's getting to be Dayton Friday chats in here, Arthur. Doing good, uh, Larry. Thank you very much. I appreciate it. And Geek uh, Giggy, thank you very much. Um, I don't know if you said something about, you just say something about sending something to P.O. Box. As long as it's not food, uh, there is a Mississippi song. 
Did, what, did I say something about Miss uh, Flowood? Mug shots. I did the mug shots in Flowood already and broke the and like broke the record and they were so amazed. So I, I told them I was coming back down there and I'll do a cheap promotion just for gas money and my time to go down there. Um, so I didn't charge them much, but I'm going to go do that again. Uh, other than that, guys, I, I uh, oh, timestamps. I tell people the timestamps on my videos, please, people, if you got to do like a time where you want me to see or something, do the period instead of the semicolon so it doesn't make the time because it's no hard feelings with anybody, but I, I delete the timestamps because people click that and they skip the whole video. I mean, that's uh, my apologies in advance, but that's something I do. Rock, pickle, is there? Oh, yeah. Pickles, pig's feet, I'm not a fan of. I've tried it before. I tried it the second time back to back just to see. Pickle pig's feet, no. I'll do barbecue pig's feet, but not pickled pig's feet. But for enough money, I probably would anyway. I don't, I just don't like pickled pig's feet. And I'm not the type of person to say I don't like it unless I try it. So I at least, I at least tried it twice. Pig ear sliders. Woo. Oh, good old apple juice. Found that for a dollar. Yeah, when the store gets these for a dollar, I get them because I like to use the containers too when I'm done for water. Uh, no problem, James. Uh, I'm glad you tuned in. Uh, I appreciate it. Thank you very much. Yeah, pig snoots. I'm going to be doing a pig snoot sometime. I'm not going to be doing a pig snoot. Uh, but I am going to go ahead and do one live. Uh, when I get back home, I'll, I'll order a couple of them. But I'll have to do a, 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 I have to do one of these these uh, ASMR pig snoots because they're crunchy. If you ever get a pig snoot, do not eat it if it's soft. Don't. Monkey brains with gravy. I would eat those. My uh, my grandmother. Um, when I find some monkey brains with gravy, she likes to mix those with the eggs. And make sandwiches. Yeah, I'll do more cooking videos when I can. Uh, maybe when I get back home, I might do a cooking cooking one or two. Funny cooking. Yes, I do have I do have some in mind to do. So guys, stay tuned for some fancy cooking. Exercise regular. Yes, I walk. Left foot, then the right foot, then the left foot, then the right foot, then the left foot, then the right foot. Then a, you know what I'm saying. But uh, I get it in. You know what she says. Thank you very much. Hey, what is happening, Joe Hansen? <laughs> Joe Hansen from Canada. So I used to like two things in Canada. Now I like four. Um, it is maple syrup. Freaking Canadian bacon, Joe Hansen, and Maddie Dutton. That's four people. That's four things. I like to call them things, but uh, hey, Joe, I got my passport coming. Got my passport coming. So you're going to see me in Canada. I want to do some challenges. We want to get some promos going. You know, I'm going to talk it up. Talk it up. We can get some promos everywhere around there. And uh, I think it's going to be around the Caribbean parade, like the, the biggest. Caribbean parade they have the one a year like August or something it might not be this year it might be next year but definitely I am coming my manager's coming with me and uh don't worry about it I'll talk to you about it later <laughs> yes but I definitely I'm definitely going to be uh hitting Canada but I'm going to UK uh probably first got to get out there Um, I don't know, Joel. I'm gonna be all over the place. So we'll we'll talk about it later. Uh, but I will uh yeah, I, I guess Toronto is where, where that's at. I'm not sure. She told me about a Caribbean um 
like month or something, but there's a parade that's the biggest parade. So I'm thinking it's probably going to be that, but we're going to still, we'll still go, go places. We'll still go all over the place. We're not just going to, uh, if I got my passport, I'm going to use it up. Is the manager thing a joke? It kind of is. Maybe, but uh, my manager for right now is what I'm saying. So I can just say, it's a, it, I don't have a manager. I just like to joke about it. Thank you very much, Ron. What is happening? What is happening? Corey Styles in the house. What? Up in a hotel. Long story, folks. But yes, my head is bigger than a microwave. Look how big that microwave is. No, I'm not throwing gang signs. That is not a gang sign, people. I do not get down like that. So do not come try to shoot up my hotel. That was not a gang sign. That was showing how big that that microwave was. It looked like a freaking phone. Look at that phone. Can't get my hand right. <sighs> oh, holding the microwave up. What's that one person that, that used to do this? Like, I'm like I need to do a video like that with my phone and like squishing people's heads like on Saturday Night Live when they're like, oh, oh, get your head, get your head. And then at the at the at the end of it, at the end of it, that one person's doing this, and in the background, they're pushing their hand up so they can't squeeze their head. Yeah, squish your head. That was that was funny. Yeah, kids in the hall. Did kids in the hall do that? Or was it um uh, or was it Saturday Night Live? It might be Kids in the Hall. Okay, Kids in the Hall. Maybe I was wrong. Okay, maybe I was wrong. People, for, for um, I'm only in a hotel because, not because of me. I'm going to tell you that now. If it was because of me, I would be in my car, not dealing with these free bugs, this free bug I found on the floor. Okay. So that's why I sleep in my car. Why pay for a hotel that um, you get to sleep with bugs? I, I didn't see any running around here, but yeah, that one was there. Free of charge. I called down there probably. They're like, ah, oh, we didn't charge you for that. All right. Thank you, Robert Smith. Thank you very much. I appreciate it kindly. I appreciate all you guys in here, uh, even sharing my video. So if you could, sh excuse me, uh, I got bug, bug reflux. If you want people to show uh, show um, the videos to people, share my videos. Um, I, I really appreciate if all you guys could share my videos because it helps out get the word out. Uh, to other people that don't even have a chance to see it, and maybe they like it. Show your boss, people. So when you're at work, three or four times a week, you can get paid to talk about my videos because your boss is going to say, guess what Brandon did? The garbage disposal. Come to my office. Shut the door. Close the blinds. Well, now if they close the blinds, they might be trying something else on you. But you can talk about my videos while you're on the clock. You know, like, you see that guy swallowing hot dogs? So... I mean, I'm just trying to help you guys out, you know. Oh, Jason, thank you very much. Jason, yes, I noticed uh, there's quite a few people that's been sharing my videos, and I do appreciate you guys for doing that. Yeah, I don't know if it's – did you see something running up the wall? What? Yeah. I had a green, I had a, a, a program with this, this, uh, this camera that I got, I got a program actually that, 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 that blocked the back out and you can put anything in the background, but it glitched too much like Max Hedron. So I, I, I deleted that. I was trying to use that for my lives, but it would have worked out nice, but it didn't work out great. Sixth, I've heard that about peanut butter, um, that um, like foods, all foods, they they let a certain amount of bug particles per million uh, go through 
and it, it's okay. Like mouse droppings and all that in your food, by law, there's a per million or something particles they can let in your food. Oh, nice, Mike. You can crush my head anytime for $5. Don't take that the wrong way, people, because you guys are nasty. Nuts. Um, I don't even supposed to have peanuts. I do have the Death Nut Challenge at home, the Death Nut 2.0. I did the one, the, the regular one already. Uh, I did the packet chip, and then I did the two the the, the regular Death Nut Challenge back to back. Uh I was supposed to do peanuts, but I do. I have the 2.0 at home that I'm going to do. Uh, I did a hot challenge with Carolina Reaper, a pizza, but my mouth is still messed up. I don't know if you can see it. You see the hole? Right there. There's a hole right there. Well, my whole mouth was like that, like even worse with the sulfur burn, but there's a hole right there. And I did that hot pizza and I still did it, but. My mouth is still not completely full. That's what she said. It's not healed, not completely full. You've woken up with a dead fly in your mouth. Sixth, what is going on? That means you had bad breath because the, the fly landed in your mouth and died. Sixth, come on now, you know. <laughs> nuke the roach i'm not doing that that that's that's a that could be a disease right there i think they're the bugs i ate were controlled environment and they didn't feed them uh crack and heron needles and nothing like that so i'm going to say that those are healthier to eat than that Oh, Charles is in the house full of vigor. Now, 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 <laughs> now, now, Charles. <laughs> hey, uh, it's good to see you, though. Anyway, Charles, good to see you. I know you have your days. Missouri folks ain't worried about a few roaches. I'm going to tell you what. I used to go with somebody. I'm going to tell you right now. I've never saw cross country roaches cross country. And I think cause it was a big apartment building and the other side of the apartment building. So they ran fast. These were the fastest freaking roaches. Like they did this like a handoff, like a running like this. They, they did like a handoff on like a freaking Olympics. They, they was fast. Then uh, there was one person, my friend, I went to their house and they said, don't turn, don't turn the bathroom light off. I didn't know why I turned it off. Oh, I turned it back on. The sink wasn't supposed to be black. The sink was white. It was supposed to be. You didn't see no white on the sink. It was all freaking cockroaches. Oh, it was nasty. Then then somebody I knew, they slept with, with cotton in their ear and in their nose. Nasty. You've never seen a live roach. You've... Melinda, you've lived in a in a uh, what they a pampered world, I think, or you've never came to East St. Louis or any hotel in Nashville. Nashville had roaches too, and I'm gonna tell you, Dan Killer Kennedy had a room right. I sleep in my car. I don't care. I sleep in my car. I don't have to worry about roaches. Okay, I don't have roaches in my car. Well. I think he felt bad for me because I slept in my car. I don't care. I can sleep in the car just like I sleep in my house. It's it's nothing to me. It's camping, okay? Well, he said, you can stay with me. I said, okay, okay, Dan, I'll stay. So his daughter, him, and me, well, there was roaches in the room. Freaking crawling out places. Well, they was gone. I dropped them off at the um, the Country Music Hall of Fame, and I went back to move all of our stuff to another room and another part, the newer part of the hotel. So I felt bad. Because I almost got him kicked out of his hotel. So I was begging the hotel. I was belittling myself. I was begging the hotel to, to not get kicked out of this roach motel. I was begging them because of them, because it was their room. I said, I don't even know how you guys stay in business like this with these roaches. Like, you can go. You can go. I was like, 
No, no, please. I was begging to stay in a roach motel. That was bad. So I would rather not um I would rather not, not even be in a hotel, just sleep in my car. Yeah, I heard about the flying roaches. Um rat sized roaches. Whoa. Well, apparently they're everywhere. Yeah, I, I don't know what it is. I guess I guess it's just they like greasy areas, maybe. I don't know. Um I don't I don't they're not paying rent at my house, so they gotta go. They're not they're not allowed in my house. No, if you ever have roaches, people, you have to stay on top of it. You have to keep doing it and not just not like like put the uh uh, cause I used to have to, uh, rental houses. The buddy of mine had 30 rental houses. What you got to do is put the, the, the boric acid or something. It's called boric acid. You mix it with sugar and you mix it with flour. There's a, there's a ratio. So what happens is the sugar attracts them. The, the, the boric acid and the flour makes it stick to them. The flour makes it stick to them. So what you want to do is, is keep doing that. When you don't see them anymore, keep doing it for six more months. Keep doing it. You you don't just, whoa, I don't see it no more. No, you keep doing it, and you'll get rid of them finally. And that stuff, the combat that you put under the cabinets, you do that. You And then, like, every periodically, every six months, put the traps out. I mean, you don't got to see them. Just keep doing it. Eventually, you got you to gotta, you gotta stay on top of it. That's what she said. No, I haven't I haven't tried durian fruit, people. But guess what? Guess what, Marcos? I am going to try it. And the stinky fish. I am going to try that stinky stir whatever. But I am trying to find I have the cans are like $35 a piece, people. And I'm glad you brought that up because if people would do a PayPal, uh, uh, the can's not big at all, but I want to get three cans. So I need a hundred. I was trying to do a hundred dollar. Like uh, if people put PayPal in the subject title, stinky fish, then I, I'm going to get that. But I don't want to just be me. I want to be like three or four people on my live. I want somebody to throw up. So I want three or four people to do the stinky fish with me. So I need like three cans and I want to see if they can eat it and maybe bet them $50 that if they can eat the whole thing or something, I don't know. I have to figure something out like, like, uh, I want to do something kind of nasty where they earn money. Like, let's make a deal. Like five dollars if you can eat a jelly donut with a sardine on top, and then okay, you won five dollars. You want to trade that five dollars in to make ten dollars? Then bam, you got to try this. They don't know what it is. Then when they get to fifty dollars, you got to do that stinky fish, something like that. I think that would be a good deal. I did do another one with the durian, the durian fruit. So believe me, people, I have a lot of different ideas that I'm going to start doing. Somebody said doing a spin wheel, a spin wheel and putting the money on there where people have to donate $10 for me to do whatever that's on that wheel. So I might try to do that as well. So there's a lot of stuff that I'm going to be, be trying to do. Oh, and let's get this in here one more time, at least. Please. Check out One-Legged Honda Mechanic. Nice billboard, ain't it? One-Legged Honda Mechanic's uh, YouTube channel. If you guys want to know tips and tricks on how to fix your cars, automobiles, uh, check his channel out, okay? There it is. Bam, bam, bam. Thank you, Aaron. And check Aaron's channel out. Since he's helping him out, check Aaron's channel out, okay? He just did a Nathan. If you want to see Nathan's hot dog, um, he did a vlog too of going to New York. Uh, Miss Hobbs, she does cooking. Okay, I, w I always want to say food reviews. I'm like, what? She does food reviews of her own food, but they're always good. She always gives some good food reviews for some reason. But check her channel out. Uh, Corey Styles, the Thick and Chunky Show, that was in here. Please click on his. He does food reviews. I'm going to be seeing him uh, probably September. 
or December, depends if I go to UK. But I already talked to Adam Moran. If you don't know Adam Moran's uh, regular name, his government name, um, they call him Beard Meets Food. Okay. If you don't know Beard Meets Food, I don't know who you are. But he's in the UK and be hooking up with him overseas uh, if I go to the UK. Now, if I go to Australia, I'm going to be trying to hook up with Jesse he, or uh, uh, Hulk Smash Food over there. But I'm going to go ahead and get off here, guys. But uh, that's what she said. Thank you very much, Zombie Wolf. Um, I, I got a couple more questions. If you got a couple more questions, I'm going to get off here in 10 minutes. Nine minutes. Okay, nine minutes. So in one hour, all together, I'm going to cut this off. But if you have any questions, I am going to answer some of them now. But please look in the future for uh, all my lives. I'm going to try different stuff on every live, okay? Watch out for the big bugs. Okay, I will. Yes, he's in Leeds. And Zach, he always tells, I don't know if I can say shh hole. He always says, oh, that's a shh hole. So I'm like, hey, come over to East St. Louis. You'll see a shh hole. He thought it was so funny. Uh, Bear, we was in North Carolina. He didn't believe I had a gun on me, right? And he's like, uh, you don't, um, he thought I was joking. He Because over there, they can't even carry guns. I said, no, man, I'll be your bodyguard over here. I said, yeah. And I should. And when we left, I, I kept it in the car when we went to go to the buffet. But we was at a buffet with everybody uh, from North Carolina that we was at the, the Highway 55. Well, we uh, we went uh, to a, a buffet to see a subscriber. He had passed away now, uh, Chris. But he, uh, he was a real uh, – Beard was a real funny guy. But then right after right, – Right after the end of that, uh, I said, hey, come here, because I was driving my car, and he was walking to there. I said, hey, come here, and he, he looked in the car and had my gun on my lap. He uh, he thought that was uh, that was uh, funny. Yes, uh, Chris, uh, I got to meet Chris before he passed away. We did we went to the uh, buffet, and uh, I really, really good guy. Um No, Beard Meat Food didn't, didn't, um, Charles. That was a guy named Chris uh, Keen. He was a, uh, uh, he's a subscriber to all of us. <clears throat> he had a real good positive attitude all the time. Hey, thank you very much, uh, Miss Jacobs. Thank you. And thank you for commenting on there and on Facebook. I did notice that. Uh, yes, a whole enchilada, if you haven't saw that one, or the Bo Campers. Uh, my friend Anthony Glenn is on there. He'll be on the next one, too. On Sunday, he'll be on the next one as well. The third one is called Quickies. It is uh, – who doesn't like a quickie? No, but Anthony Glenn is on the third one, and he should have been on one more because he showed up at the, uh, the, the Cinco de Mayo. He showed up at that, too, at the contest, the taco contest. I got him into that. They told me they was going to send me the video. They never sent me the video to that, so I don't have the taco contest video. But So this third video that he's in, I, I especially dedicated it at the end of, of the pictures and stuff and really thanked him for showing up to all of the challenges that I did down there. So I really and, – and Anthony Glenn is a real good friend. He actually lives – he resides in St. Louis, Missouri, but they pay him every year, all year, for a suite to Fort Lauderdale to work down there in the railroad. So he does the electronic engineering of the railroads, uh, like all the crossing signs and everything. He does the programming. Uh, real, real good guy. Received, I haven't received my passport yet. Um, by the time I get home, I might have it in there. So uh, we will see. 
Yes, and speaking of that, let me show you something that I carry with me all the time. Oh, I carry this microphone with me too. Hold on a minute. Well, I thought I had it. I knew I knew it wasn't knew it wasn't lying to you today. Um, I don't lie on Fridays, but I always carry this with me. So when I open this up to do my to, to, to get all my pieces for my phones to, to download my videos, I always keep this with me. This uh this is what Miss Hobbs' mom, uh, Sandra Lewis, had got me. She made me this. I guess she thought I was a nut. So. She made me that bracelet. I wore it on one of my Fox, my Fox video I did live. It didn't turn out good. But this uh this is the the bracelet she had made me. I keep it in my bag here. I got these new boxes to, to, to I got these new boxes to carry my stuff in. So I um I keep it in this. So every time every time I do a challenge, uh when I open this up, I see that in there. But I keep all this in, in these in these little carrying cases now, trying to get fancy with it. So I am glad I got to meet her mom before she had passed away. And that was a really fun time. I really wish I would have came back and did what I wanted to, but the time frame, because I wanted to do a race, me racing in the wheelchair. Uh, but I know the first time I was there, she was a little fatigued after she was done because she was all excited when I when I when I came to see her. So I did, I did get a chance to meet her, and I really appreciate it. I told her I was, so when I tell people I'm going to do something, I do my best to do it. So, How often do I talk to Dan, Molly? I don't talk to Raina. You can skip Raina. Skip her. Don't talk to Raina. Don't even miss her. She blocked me. She blocked Dan. She blocked, she blocked Molly. Yes, I, oh, oh, speaking of that, GSXR Joe 92 knows about this. The video that's going to come out the 10th or the 14th on the first, yes, on uh, Born and Raised, yes. I talked about that on camera at the end. I said, yes, she blocked me because they brought her name up. Well, they brought her name up again at the FUD Challenge when me and Mo Molly and I was at in, San, in um, San Diego. They brought her name up again. I said, oh, she blocked me. So I made sure to put that in there. But if you don't treat, I think if you don't treat Raina like the leader of the pack, you're no, you're nobody. So if she's not number one in the limelight, you're not going to be there. Yeah, she blocked Miss Hobbs as well. See, um, yeah, I don't know. She wanted to sell her t-shirts on my on my descriptions. Like, I'm trying to sell my own t-shirts, you know. And she wanted to sell her T-shirts on mine. I said, that's like Walmart going to Kmart saying, hey, can I sell my T-shirts in your store? Uh-huh. Treat people the way you want to be treated. I kind to have a different opinion on that. I'm going to tell you what. I am like a boomerang. I like to say I'm a mirror. I'm a mirror. If you treat me good, I'm going to treat you great. If you treat me bad, I'm going to go out my way probably to be ignorant. Because there's people that actually, that actually, you can tell when they're being ignorant. They uh, stop. They fast forward my videos. Okay. I don't mind you fast forwarding the videos. But to stop and comment, hey, I fast forwarded. Do you really have to stop and just comment that you fast forwarded? If you fast forward it, you did it. You don't have to tell me about it. Just do it like Nike. But they have to go out their way and say that I fast forwarded. So I have to go out my way and say, so you save time by fast forwarding, but then you mess that time up you saved to comment and slow down. Don't make no sense. What is these? 
where is these people sending me this app? I always got to respond to this. I can't. Oh, she's not naked. This this lady here. This is Google. This is Google. <laughs> this is Google Hangout. I get this all the time. And um, so I always put, they say, ha-ha, corner time. Oh, my God, who is bored? So I put, hell, you wouldn't be, if you checked out my YouTube, get a life and get on board. And for Christ's sake, buy some clothes. So it's a computer automated thing. And this one says, are you all gay in here or what? It's just computer generated. But I have to comment back and be like, check out my YouTube channel. You'll find out, sweetie. Yeah, I'm going to say it now. Check my YouTube. Bam. One subscriber at a time. Yeah, I get those. I don't, I, I don't even know why I even bother. But every time they do it, I always say, check out my YouTube. All right, guys, it's been one hour. I'm going to have to jump off here, um, clean this up, get all the bugs out of here. And uh, I thank you guys for tuning in. I really do appreciate it. I watch your videos, no fast forwarding. I watch your vids in full. Thank you very much. And Andrew, thank oh, thank you very much for the $25 for a t-shirt for Kim Kraus. Hold on. I'm trying to figure this out now. Okay. So Andrew, you paid $25 for Kim. Well, I got to fix. You gave a shirt away. So you, 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 okay. The shirt's for Kim. How do I know Kim's address to send her shirt? But thank you very much. And if I can't figure out her address, I'll have to send your money back. So I don't, I'm not sure how to do that. Unless Kim sends me a dollar or the cheapest possible thing. Or maybe you could send a PayPal question with your address instead of sending me any money, Kim. If you could send me the address with like a, I don't know if they do a question on that or not. And I'll be out of town until I can still send it while I'm out of town. So I, I have shirts with me. So just let me know the size the shirt you need. And please, Kim, follow up, follow up with me because I'm trying to figure this out too. So once I figure out where to send the shirt to, I will do that. All right, guys. Um, I want to say good night to you. Uh, please um, follow me on Facebook as well. You'll see some different stuff what I'll be doing. So uh, follow me on Facebook on the garbage disposal, okay? Un under that, the garbage disposal. I'll probably go ahead and put the Mississippi, uh, the two the two times I'll be in Mississippi on there for you guys. But uh, please uh, follow me on that, and you'll get some more information and pictures and stuff where I've been. So thank you very much, guys. Uh, I am out of here.